Hello world, PDR coming at you here with a 2015 Audi uh, Q5, SQ5. Uh, it's got a large dent in the rear door here and it goes through the body line. You can see through my board that it's got a lot of high tension right here, comes around. Um, the, the brace work actually runs to right here. So about a quarter inch down. So I won't be able to get to the top of that dent. So what I'm trying to do is get most of it with the glue if I need to come through and tool out the rest. But hopefully this glue will get me where I need to go. Um, if not, I've got my wedge and my guard in there. Got the Scorpion heat gun heated up. Got a Keiko tab and some black plague glue. Um, just gonna drop it in there. And I am gonna use the mini lifter, but I'm gonna put the feet down here, not up on the rail. Um, we'll see what we get out of this. We'll give it the 45 seconds, maybe 30 seconds. It's not too warm, not too cold. It's about 70 out right now. Um, I sure do appreciate everybody that clicked on this video. If you want to hit that subscribe button, we sure appreciate it. Mm. A little sip of the coffee and let's make a pull. So you might want to catch this one through the board as it pulls because it's going to be a nice solid popper. And let me grab the little bit of isopropyl. Just pull it right off. A beautiful day. And let's see how much of that actually moved. Uh, it moved up in this area. So let's do that same thing down in the, in the low again. Um, and why am I not using a football or a crease tab? Because it's pretty much a round dent. It's got a little bit of a weirdness to it, but I want to get it right there. And I always want to make sure that if I'm using the lifter, that the way that this thing lines up isn't sideways because my lifter's feet comes across. Otherwise I have to shift the the handle but it's no big deal here's what I'm talking about the little foot it always comes in this way but if I shifted it sideways I could come in at a different angle but I like just coming in like this honestly on this one I'm gonna come down from the top because where that foot little kind of hint tip trick where that foot has the base part on it is gonna pull a little bit harder than the one that doesn't have that There we go. I don't know where that tab went. Oh, I see it. Honestly, my biggest problem with glue pulling is the tab falling off and me not finding it. But that's why I usually have the feet on the bottom side so that when I make the pull, it stays in the machine. Another little tip trick there. So we did most of that dent with the glue. Let's see how much of that one came out. I'm gonna if you're visual there yeah see now a lot of that dent came out all I got to do is tap some of those highs down and for me to do that I'm gonna get a little bit closer with the board get right in here tap some of these highs down this was a large dent guys I mean if I was gonna get in there and tool it it might take 20 30 40 minutes but you saw in just a couple of minutes with the glue pulling how I got a lot of it out and basically, I've, I've still got this little brow up here that we can get out. I might even want to break out the shooting jacks on this one up here. And then down here, we got this little tight brow that we want to get out. It's real tidy. I, let me move my hat around in case I'm in the way there. Back down to this one in the middle here. But yeah, it's... Uh, I've had some people lately say I was just going to buy the glue pulling thing and try it myself, but without actually knowing how the highs and lows go and the brows and having the board and hammy and tappy and knowing where to tap and how to tap, uh, having the glue pulling system is almost more hassle for somebody who isn't properly trained. And as far as training goes, guys. 21 years ago, I was put on a hood and told, train yourself. So, yeah, I, uh, 
literally clinically have no have had no real formal training but after doing it daily for 21 years I've gotten to the place that I'm at and I never claim to be the best I claim to be good at what I do and give people a good value for their money and I think that this customer is gonna be super happy and I say right now oh that's just a scuff of the glue but right now I think we're about ah, I don't know I'd put it at about 70 percent I'm gonna get it to that 90 to 95 like I normally do but it's gonna be a lot of tapping and maybe a little bit of pushing I'll come back to you guys in just a little bit Some of the finer taps that need to be made. Got the Zen music going. Starting to get there. Get that a little bit more all zenned out. Straightening that line out real nice. better now let's get the bottom edge and i think we might even be able to come in for the final of the video we might already be in i'm um, just getting some little brows out and uh let's get right into this last little bit where i see it's just really tight on this body edge. You can hear how tight it is. Yeah, this was no in no way an easy dent guys this level of difficulty is about an eight uh from one to ten on the scale it's not because it's a uh, a body line dent and not because it's sharp because it wasn't even really that sharp but because of the brace work behind it i could only get to 
a little bit. I used <clears throat> the J-hook for a lot of it. Got up to right up here, but I can't really push on this edge. I was gonna glue tab it, but I did a couple of real severe glue tabs right here. I think I had you guys in with that one. And they actually crested this so much that I got to tap it back down and put it into place. And now all we have is this weird little diagonal wave on the bottom. There's a little bit of one right down here that honestly I'm not gonna worry too much about because I can get my tool to it. So I was gonna say this is probably gonna be real close to the finale and it might be because it's looking really good. I did not pro uh, promise perfection by any means on this one, but I basically said it'll be that 90 to 95% mark, like I always say, and the difference between a dent and no dent. But if you've got a real good vision on it and a real good board on it, a real good light, you'd be able to see that the, there was a dent there, that some work was done, and that there might be a little bit of wave left over. Um, I'm human. And, uh, I mean, you saw me get that top line out pretty nice and straight and, you know, to take the time to do that for every single, uh, piece of a large dent like this, uh, I'm not going to say would take three or four or five hours, but I'm saying the, the difference in from 95% to hundred percent is the difference in charging less than somebody's deductible, which I did here or charging what a body shop would charge, which is around $1,500 to $2,500, and saying the value is saving your pain. Um, I didn't charge that $1,500 to $2,500 mark, so I'm not gonna take it to that 100% mark, um, just out of time and, you know, valuing normal, normalcy, time. Um, and once again, I'm not trying to prove anything to this customer of how awesome I am. I just want him to be happy that his dent's gone. Um, most people that have, well, everybody that has my dents, has dents done by me is uh, not a tech. You know, obviously if they were a tech, they'd do their own dents. So um, I just tr try to provide a really good service for really good people and give them a really good price and hopefully they'll tell their friends about me. That's what it all comes down to for me. Making sure people are happy one dent at a time. And now I'm right up here in the top area of this. But like I say, there's a brace that stops me. So I'm basically running that line that I can get to, which is bu -bu 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 -bu, little typewriter action. And all the rest has to be gotten to with glue. Um, or if you were an extremist, taking the door panel apart. Uh, I've seen a couple people, uh, Bryce being one of them out there. I watch his channel and he takes apart doors. He'll take doors off cars. He'll almost always take off a door if it's a larger collision style dent. Um, me, honestly, I've never taken off a door uh, taken off a hood one time and taken off a lot of tailgates, but uh, I'm more into the uh, getting it look real nice real fast and I think we will kind of call this one a a Done I know it has a little wave right here that I am. I'm actually gonna tap out after camera um, Just because that kind of bugs me, but we will we'll stop the video for time's sake right here uh, We had another little one up here. It kind of I'll spend a little bit more time on it too. Um, made them a real good deal for these two dents. And then did another little free one on the other side, which uh, should already be posted. So if you guys see the other one, that, that one came out perfect, 100%. I'd say this one came out about 95%. Um, if you liked it, guys, hit, hit me up with a like. I sure appreciate it. Yeah, I see that little tiny brow. I'm gonna tap that down. And um, once again, this has been PDR and I'm out. Peace.